all my fabs and besties. Today we are checking out an Etsy shop. Dolls Flowers is the name of the shop. You can check them out on Instagram at barbie.flowers. This shop specializes in 1-6 scale plants. You know how much we love dollhouse plants. I've made a few paper ones myself. The plants I ordered are made with polymer clay. I made two separate orders because I didn't read the description all the way. Many of the stemmed flowers are sold separately, so when I was over there clicking the button on Etsy, thinking, oh, that's a beautiful bouquet, I was only ordering one flower at a time, so <laughs> yeah, I needed some more. These items shipped from Russia, and it took a minute to get here. It was like a couple of weeks until I got it in my P.O. box. Let's remove this paper. And we see more paper. Okay, so they took the time to really wrap everything. Ooh, I wonder what that is. I'm thinking these are vases. They're neatly wrapped in tissue paper. And yeah, it's a little tiny glass jar. And this one feels like another glass jar. The small one is similar to the ones we get at the dollar store in the nail art section. Only this one isn't covered in glitter residue. But that's good to know in case I need a few more vases. The flowers are packed so neatly. It's attached to a card, has plastic bent around the front. It says at barbie.flowers at the bottom, that's the Instagram. Here says best wishes, BF for Barbie flowers. On the back, it says Rose Miniature 1-6, do not wet, remove dust with a soft brush. I love the little instructions on the back. That's some really useful information. I've never really worked with polymer clays too much, so thanks for that. I'm gonna remove the card from the plastic, untwist the tie in the back, carefully remove the rose. There is paper wrapped around the stem I'm gonna carefully undo that. This is very delicate, so I'm trying to be careful. Oh wow, look at that. It's a little white rose. Those petals are so delicate and detailed. The leaves have two shades of green, if you look really closely, and you can see little veins in them. I do believe the stem is made of wire. This rose is beautifully made and very, very realistic. I love that. At this moment on Etsy, this rose is priced at $6.30. Keep in mind, prices can change. I'm gonna set it right here in this little vase. So we can take a look at these irises. I ordered two of these. I think I ordered more, so I'm checking the other box. This might be the first time I made an order so yeah, we have one iris in here, giving us a total of three. Because these are handmade, each one is a little different, just like in nature. They have purple petals with yellow going down the center and a leaf off to the side. Three fit comfortably into these little glass jars. And I'm thinking ideally I should have ordered six. That would have given me a nice little arrangement. But this was my first time and my cart was racking up, so I was trying to be a little conservative. Hence the word little. Even though they're all slightly different, I would say each stem is equally beautiful. So if you order just one, that's okay. You're gonna get a great quality flower. When it comes to displaying these, there are a lot of little pieces and it only takes a second for everything to come tumbling down. My solution is to build a quick shelving unit. I used giant craft sticks for this, then take the small glass jars from the dollar store and glue them in place. So if I accidentally hit my shelf, everything pretty much stays put. Okay, now we can move on. I bought three yellow tulips. These were $5.40 each. If you look really closely, you can see that each petal is kind of rippled a little at the top. That is so much detail. And look down the center, there's a little ridge. You can look into each flower. 
and there's a leaf that curls around the stem. I am impressed. I've been looking at the photos on Instagram for a while, but seeing them in person, wow. My mom loves yellow tulips, so this would be a great gift for her because she's into miniatures as well. Here is a pink tulip. I only bought one of those. This is from my first order and it is absolutely lovely. You can even see a little green going up the petals. The petals on this tulip are pointed. You can still see the inside and it has a leaf. They are all about the same length, measuring a little over two inches. Our little collection is really looking amazing. Here we have three ranunculus flowers. I have seen this flower in real life and I had no idea what it was called, so thank you. Miniature collecting is educational. These were $4.80 each. They have light pink petals. Look at all those layers. Getting into the parts of the flower, they have really long sepals on the outside. I don't know if that's supposed to be plural or singular, but the little leaves that go around the bottom, that is called the sepal. There is a cluster of green stamens on the inside. They have long stems with no leaves. This is a single daisy. It was $6.40 for one stem. There is a lot of detail here. You can see each little tiny petal. Wow. It has a long stem and one leaf. I do not recommend touching the petals much. It would be a shame if there was an accident. I ordered half a dozen of calla lilies. I think this is when I realized I needed to order more than one. These were only $1.80 each, so definitely a good buy. You can see the fading of color from the white leaf to the green stem. That is really beautiful. They all have a nice trumpet shape surrounding a yellow center, which Google says is called a spadix. There are other plants in this shop besides just flowers. I picked up some branches of eucalyptus. I ordered six stems. They were $2 each. If you look closely, you can see how much work goes into each one. Each stem has multiple leaves. There is a crease going down the center of each leaf. I don't even want to think about how much time it takes to make just one. These are a little taller than the flowers at about three inches. I like how they add some variation to our miniature plant collection. Speaking of variation, here is a blooming cactus. Priced at $6.20, this is a great piece if you're looking for something to stand alone. It comes in a pot that has been painted, has BF on the bottom for Barbie flowers. It is covered in flocking to look like the spikes there are little delicate purple flowers on top. This is totally perfect for a doll bookcase or on a desk. Here is another plant with a pot included. It's a begonia maculata. On the back it says, please carefully spread the leaves after unpacking. Um, that makes me a little nervous. I don't really want to mess with it too much, but the instructions said to do it, so. The stems are wire, so we shouldn't be too scared. That's actually pretty neat, because it allows you to position it how you want to fit your space. This plant has long, dark green leaves. You can see the veins. There are white spots. Underneath the leaves, it's a brownish red kind of color. When looking closely, you can see soil in the pot. And this is another great standalone piece. It was priced at $9.80. I bought a lot of different pieces here, and when you're paying per piece, that cart price can escalate pretty quickly. But I did it because I really wanted to show you all a variety of items from this shop. In the future, I will probably stick to one type of flower at a time and get enough for a full bouquet. Ordering through Etsy was pretty simple. Everything arrived here completely perfect. Nothing was broken. I have no complaints. So I will definitely order from this shop again. We have such a talented doll community and I love getting to see the creations of other miniature artists. 
And here's a pro tip. When it comes to Etsy, make sure you read the description. If there is an Etsy shop you would like for us to check out, let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for joining us while we checked out 1-6 scale plants from Barbie Flowers on Instagram. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my froggy stuff and the frog vlog and we will see you next time bye